So another staple big flathead lure on Castaway are these Lunker City Sluggos. Um, I like to use the 9 inch but also at times use the 7.5 and the 12 inch version as well. I rig them a couple of ways. Um, the easiest way is using a weedless or worm style hook. This one's a BKK Titan in the 6.0 size. Uh, the 6.0 is perfect for the 9 inch version. And then I run a length of 40 pound fluorocarbon down to a stinger. Um, I like to use these fangs uh, 63 UAs in the size 4 for the stinger. Um, the other way I rig these with the front hook is using a owner Aki light which is a straight shank game hook similar to an SL12 pattern. Um, this way takes a little more time because I actually like to bind on a hook keeper or a um, soft plastic keeper on this hook and then also super glue it in there. But using that same 40 pound fluorocarbon to stinger arrangement with the same size stinger there. So this way you actually will hook a few more fish uh, I've found anyway, just because there's so much more hook exposure there. Um, but this way is really easy and simple and fast. So um, I rig both. Um, sometimes these will sink a little bit slower than this uh, front hook arrangement just because most of the weight in this way is in the nose and it, it just sinks a little bit faster. So if I was being really technical, I might use this in slightly deeper water um, and then the, the worm hook style in that really skinny stuff, so ankle up to waist height water. But how you rig them is really easy. I usually just measure out or make a stinger um, arrangement with this 40 pound fluoro. So I usually have about 50 mil of fluoro there. Um, I use a uni knot to the sh shank of the hook or that uh, the curve of the hook there and then I used uh, a fly fishing loop knot or it's, I think it's called the improved Homer road knot. So it's just using two opposing overhand knots to form a loop. I find that's um, easy to tie than a, a perfection loop knot. Um, so you don't, you don't need as much leader or it's easy to tie with limited amount of, um, of line. So, um, that's that's the stinger it's pretty simple um, and then all we want to do is with these Titans they use a screw in design some of them uh, the worm hooks will put you'll poke through the eye of the hook but these use a screw so you've just got to get that screw really straight just to give you the best chance that this bait swimming dead straight and not spinning in the water so to screw this guy in nice and straight and then once we've screwed that all the way in I don't like to leave much gap there in between the eye of the hook and the soft plastic just measure out and, and don't pull don't stretch that plastic where you hook it or don't force it up you can see when you force it up it gets a slight curve in the nose of that lure and that'll make the lure actually swim down. So it'll constantly um, hit the bottom and spiral. So you just got to measure that out. Um, I just usually use my thumb as the indicator where to pin this hook through. So coming around to the underside, poking that one in nice and straight, coming out of the top right in the middle and you can see there that one's just about perfect and then just pull that keeper up and that fluorocarbon knot just up so it keeps it nice and tight flathead to have no issue crushing down the front of that um, lure and getting hooked on this front hook as well and then we just pin this stinger. So just keep this stinger really straight under the body. So I'm just pinning it directly under the lure and then keeping it 
in line with the lure so it sits nice and straight there and that that slightly a heavier gauge treble hook just helps that tail sink down um, a little more horizontally as well so which is uh, seems to be the trigger for a lot of these big flathead bites but anyway that's how I like to rig the sluggos so again two ways one way um, the slightly more time consuming way is tying up these binding up a hook keeper on these um, game hooks this one's at owner Aki Light 7 -0. Um, you can also use something like an SL12 from Gamakatsu. Um, in the, the really big baits, I actually use the BKK Kajiki, um, but they're a little bit too big for these nine inch sluggos, but that's one way. Slightly better hookup ratio sinks that a little bit quicker. Um, and this is the other way, really easy and quick way. Um, and is perfect for that super skinny water.